Today we're going to take a look at Evernote 3.1.1 for the iPhone. It boots up pretty quickly and gives us the option of making notes in four different ways. Let's check out text. You can give your note a title or include it in a specific notebook of your choice or even add tags to it. As you might have guessed, all these items are searchable, which I'll show you in a second. While I use Evernote a ton on my iPhone, I actually don't use it to make notes that often. I do most of my note taking on the desktop version of Evernote. And instead of making new notes on my iPhone, I use it to sync and search the notes that I've made for my desktop. As long as you have a Wi-Fi or cellular connection, you can access all the notes you've made on Evernote. You can search through your notes in a number of ways. Evernote actually keeps track of where you are when you make your notes, and that's one way you can search through them. It sounds pretty cool, but to be honest, I never use it. Instead, I usually search through my notes either by notebook or by date. It's pretty easy to flick through your notes like you'd expect on any iPhone app. But the notebooks and months and other categories that you can organize by aren't collapsible, so you have to flip through all of them to get to the note you're looking for. Of course, if you remember the title or a keyword in the text you're looking for, you can just go straight to search. Evernote will search through the title, the tags, and also the text of your notes. It'll also search through any text and pictures that you've taken. Once you've found the note you're looking for, you can add it to a favorite section, which gives you easy and quick access to it. Overall, I give Evernote a 3.75 out of 4. Check out myiphoneexploits.com for a more detailed review.